So to summarize, the essence of digital nature, we believe, is really about art imitating life. The natural world around us really represents a complex and diverse collection of unique celestial elements such as terrains, vegetation, water, and clouds, as well as natural phenomena such as atmospheric effects. Composing high fidelity scenery elements, which combines all of these unique elements together in a convincing and believable manner, we believe, requires a comprehensive approach which incorporates all of these cornerstone elements. All these elements, of course, are the foundational technologies which you'll find in our digital nature products. So let's take a few moments and review the Eon software product line. So what we've done over the past years is uh, divided our uh, digital nature products into three what we call solution families. Um, at the entry level, we have products for 3D enthusiasts, which include products our free product, View Pioneer, which you can go and download. It's completely free. Uh, we have theme packs that combine View Pioneer with specific content aimed at specific things like uh, fantasy, sci-fi types of rings, and a product called View Frontier, which is aimed at the Poser and Dad Studio crowd. Next, we have our products for 3D artists, and this provides 3D artists and small studios with a very pow powerful modular applicants to create rich 3D digital nature scenery and landscapes. Uh, what's really cool about this part of the product line is that you can start with product like Esprit and then modularly add capabilities as your own capabilities and needs grow. So you can actually go from Esprit and add modules to go all the way up through View 9 Complete. And then finally, what's probably most uh, audience is our uh, solutions for review professionals. It consists of our top of the line products and for CG professionals, the premier solutions for creating exceptionally rich and realistic digital nature environments with seamless integration into any production workflow. And here we have two products. Uh, we have View Infinite, which is our top of the line uh, digital nature solution, and View Extreme, which is identical to View Infinite, except that it contains uh, it operates directly within the leading CG applications directly as a seamless plug-in inside of those solutions. So it will operate seamlessly inside of products like Max, Maya, XSI, Cinema 4D, and Lightwave. We also feature a line of specialty products, which includes things like books for 3D enthusiasts, uh, specialized architectural bundles for architects, and professional plug-ins for CG and professionals. And let's take a moment to discuss one of our brand new products, which is called Luminar T. Luminar T is a product we introduced a little more than a month ago, and it's really taken the market by storm. Basically, what it allows you to do is to share your projects in real time with very accurate, similar, and very high fidelity uh, scenery. So you can actually begin to share uh, products uh, seamlessly with your associates and your customers, and they can actually dynamically navigate and walk through those projects in real time with very, very high fidelity. So basically, what it allows you to do is to transfer a model. This is a model in SketchUp, what it looks like in SketchUp, and then by simply pressing a button, it looks like this inside of Luminar T. And best of all, you share this model with anybody you want. And let me now switch over to my demo machine and just give you a little demo of Luminar T. So here we have, this is a SketchUp window and um, you know it shows you uh, the, a model here in SketchUp. It's a relatively complex model. I think it has around 100 polygons. And if you want to convert this and put this into a Luminar T live cube, you simply hit the Luminar T button and then it pops out a little interface. You indicate what kind of body you want and uh, the kind of background and click generate. And then in a matter of a minute to uh, depending on uh, what kind of quality level you want, it comes out with, with a Lumen RT Live Cube. Let me show you what one of those things looks like. So once the Lumen RT Live Cube is done, you simply click it and it pops up with the exact same model you can see with much higher fidelity shadows and quality. Now, you can also export animations directly from SketchUp and also interactively walk through the model as if you're walking through sort of a really cool looking 3D. You can uh, walk through them and I can see it's a little bit jumpy on, the, uh, on your screen because we're operating over the internet here, but I can assure you 
um, when you put this on your desktop, it's it out the uh, navigation is in real time. So you can simply walk through. You can see the little uh, round box there. You can walk through. If you want, you can page up and down and go to different floor levels. Here, so I'll, I'll go down to the next level. So I'm now on the on the ground floor level. I can walk around. What's really cool is that. You can, uh, uh, when you hit an obstacle, recognize the obstacles like this window here, and I will click to walk through it, and then I can turn and look on. You can see perhaps uh, the water, uh, any water objects in SketchUp are, are fully animated, and you see the really nice shadows. By the way, these shadows are being generated in real time. So all that really requires is that to distribute this is that you have a relatively decent, modern, up-to-date GPU graphics card and so if you bought a computer anytime over the last couple of years uh, you'll be fine. Another cool thing is um, let's go page down is that it recognizes uh, obstacles dynamically so you can actually walk up here and then if you want you can also take snapshots at any point uh, or you can actually save out an animation if you're, you know, maybe one of your, your clients and customers is operating on an old computer and they don't have a very good graphics card. You can just save out an animation for them, uh, which they can run on any machine, of course. So that is Luminar T. So let's talk a little bit about View 9. And what I'd like to do right now is to show a demonstration of the View 9 uh, key features. Okay, so that was the uh, view nine key features. Let me quickly uh, walk through uh, some of the what you just saw there. So, uh, thing that I think uh, we've done in view nine is we've added breakthrough anti-flickering technology, and and this is something that a lot of the big studios have been asking us for. Uh, they really love our vegetation, but it often requires them to uh, use very very high end anti-aliasing uh, settings in order to you know. Uh, smooth out all the flicker in it, and now what we've done with the new anti-flickering technology, you can use sort of you know very basic, low-level anti-aliasing settings, so you can actually render these scenes in uh, you know anywhere from 5x to 10 times faster. And, and I can tell you that the studios really, really love this technology. Uh, we've also introduced this new uh, thing that we call hyper blobs, which basically take our meta blob technology and allow you to apply these very detailed uh, displacement like rock formations and materials to them um, so you can really create some really really cool sort of caverns and uh, really nice rocks and very detailed uh, 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 formations. Um, the other thing that's, that's cool that we introduce is this technology called relighting and it may not have been obvious in the video but basically what this allows you to do in real time after the render is complete is to automatically change the lighting in the scene. So let's say you have a half a dozen lights. Um, if you render the picture, you can actually uh, turn on or off those lights to get different looks or actually change the, uh, the amount of power of those lights or even change the color of the lighting. So it's really cool. Um, another really cool feature is this, uh, 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 this uh, ability to have uh, clouds uh, actually uh, connect directly in uh, what we call this advanced cloud control in view 9.5 and let me show you a little demonstration of that. So um, I hope you can see this. Uh, basically what those clouds are doing is they're moving directly over the top of this terrain and specify any object in the scene and uh, a sort of a delta and the clouds will automatically hover directly over the top of the uh, of the scene. So let me run that through one more time. So you can see how the clouds are sort of hugging over the top of this terrain. It's a very, very cool technology. Uh, also, with the new uh, cloud technology in 8.5, you can now erase or mask out certain clouds in the scene. So if you don't like the look or shape of you can 
to find a masking region and mask those out easily. Uh, we've also added this cool new uh, fast depth of field blur, and it, uh, this was a, another sort of really requested feature by our users uh, to improve the performance of our depth of field, and we can now depth the field at least four times faster. In fact, in many cases, it's almost ten times faster over the old Dof blur methods that we had. Uh, we've also added a very cool new interactive text placement feature. It's a texture widget, so um, if you have objects that have uh, UVs and textures inside of them, and you want to modify those, you don't have to go outside use, and use some sort of external program like UV Mapper. You can actually directly modify those uh, UVs directly inside of you now. And finally, we've also implemented uh, a really cool new GPU accelerated anti-aliasing. So uh, alias, anti-aliasing has not only been improved in terms of our flickering technology, but it's been improved for all types of anti-aliasing by using uh, some of the capabilities directly on board the GPU. So there's about 150 new features that we added in View 9 and View 9.5. I can't talk about them all today, but I would invite you uh, that if you're interested, you can always go to our website at ensoftware.com, download the personal learning editions of any of our View 9 products uh, to test and play with those. So this concludes the formal part of our presentation. I'd like to thank you all for your attendance and also uh, let you know that our friends at Safe Harbor are offering uh, a 10% off on all new purchases and upgrades of View 9.5 Infinite and Xtreme uh, this month. All you have to do is enter the coupon code at checkout and that the offer is valid through uh, the end of this month. So if any of you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer those. Um, all you have to do is go to the chat screen, type those in, and I'll uh, go ahead and answer those questions for you. So here's a question from Grace. Does View Extreme work with LightWave 10? Uh, and the answer is yes. Uh, I, and I think that was uh, that. Well, when, actually, let me check on. That. I think that I think that uh, was occurred in View 9.5. But uh, before I um, I say yes to that, let me check one thing here. Uh, I don't. I can't. I'm a direct connection. I think yes, we have uh, uh, Light uh, LightWave 10. I think it does. But uh, if you want, send an email to support at eonsoftware.com just to double check that. I think View 9.5 was the first release that we had that worked with uh, LightWave 10. OK, so yeah, thank you all for attending. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact uh, Mark over at uh, or anybody else at Safe Harbor or uh, drop us a line at uh, support at eonsoftware.com. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, Hold on, I see there's one last question from Fabian. Are there any difference between View 9 and Xtreme, uh, except it's integrated as a plugin? That's right. So uh, Infinite and Xtreme are, are, are identical products. The only difference is that Xtreme uh, can, can actually operate as, inside, as a plugin directly inside the interfaces of uh, the major CG applications. So with that, I'd like to conclude, and thank you all for attending. <laughs>